Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to conceal or store your preps in limited space. Alright, what you see in front of you is the table that I use when I get ready to go to work. Um, I'm going to pan up here quickly. And you can see all my watches and knives and stuff and whatever I'm going to take for the day. And my work bag and various other stuff. Um, this is in my storeroom. We're in my storeroom today. And this is on the right side corner. And what I've set up here is a little table. Now, I did this more out of the fact that I needed a table and the fact that I have these things stored in a certain way. Um, but you can do this in your own place if you have limited storage. Uh, if you're looking for a way to conceal your storage, say from nosy neighbors or, you know, kids or whatever, this is a good way to conceal it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this all off and we're going to take it apart and I'm going to show you what it consists of. I'll be right back. All right, so we got it all cleared off. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick background. What I got under here is basically Rubbermaid tubs. Let's see if you can see them, okay? Um, the way I've set this up is just with a board of wood and an old uh, handkerchief from God knows where. <laughs> an old uh, scarf. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool in here. I mean, this is kind of a mishmash of everything because it's my storeroom. But um, you can kind of see how that can hide your storage area. Now, the quick story behind the bins. The bins are located kind of around the house in different areas. Um, I have some down over on that side under there. We scroll around to see them there. And the bins are basically my I'm never coming home kit. Um, I would take those bins take whatever weapons I'm going to take, take my pets, take my food, and off we go. And these are basically set up so that um, they have a little bit of everything in them, but they have all about, probably about two to three months worth of stuff in them. Um, anywhere from 10 to 15 of them hidden around. I have a couple more in the closet behind me, a couple under here, a couple in the other room. But I'm going to show you this. So let's get back into this. This just basically comes right off, okay? I got a piece of wood, it's a spare piece of wood, didn't even fit it, but it worked fine. And there's your bins. Full of food, that one's my food bin, my first aid one's down there, I have another one up top that's uh, supplies and more food. And underneath here is a more food underneath that one. And some cooking stuff. So basically that's a way to conceal some ugly uh, Rubbermaid tubs and turn them into a table. Now. The way to do this, the ways to do this are limitless. I mean, you know, I just kind of took an easy way. I had a spare piece of wood. I threw it up here and threw an old scarf over it. Um, you can make this look a whole lot nicer. <clears throat> you could cut a piece of wood for it and put it over with a bigger black covering of some kind or something. You can make it fit in anyway. You could use this as a nightstand by your bed and have your preps right next to you. Um, it's just a way to conceal it. You know, if you don't have a dedicated storeroom and you're storing the stuff around your house, it's a neat way to conceal it so you don't get nosy people saying, hey, why do you have all that food or whatever. And it also is great for if you have a very small space. Um, in, in smaller places where I've lived, something like this would have been awesome instead of filling up a whole second closet full of uh, survival gear. So uh, it's just a neat little idea and a great way to store your preps in a kind of a smaller, compact space. It is a little difficult to rotate. What I'll do generally is once a year, I'll come in here and... Uh, I spend like a week doing it. I'll go through each tub, pull it out in the middle of the room, tear it all apart, take everything out. Anything that's close to its date or looks bad or needs to be replaced will get replaced. But for the privacy it provides, if you don't have a full storeroom like I have here, it really is handy. So anyway, that's the video for today. Um, we're going to be taking next week off because we've got Thanksgiving coming up, we've got family coming. So... You probably won't see any more videos from me until the week after. You see how easy this is to put it back together. You probably see, won't see any more videos from me till the week after. <clears throat> I have a whole lot of family coming, and we're doing stuff, and it's going to be busy. So um, we will see you when I get back. We're going to be home. We're just going to be busy. And we'll see you then. Talk to you later.